guys. Hope you're having a great day. It's your boy Phil. So So today, we are going to eat Filipino food and international food at Philippines Fest at Park Slope, Brooklyn. So, what are we waiting for? Let's start the video. Hope you're having a great day, guys. So today, we are in Park Slope, Brooklyn where we will be celebrating Filipino food with Philippines Fest and other international food at this international food festival. So we would have gone to the Filipino food items first in the Philippines section, but most of their foods were sold out. So we went to the next street in Japan's Fest and tried Yakitaru Tatsu for some Japanese fare. So from these choices that you see here, we are basically going to try everything. Service was quick, staff was friendly, and it took about 10 to 15 minutes to cook all of our choices. And yakitori originally means grilled chicken. Yakitori has evolved to consist of bite sized pieces of meat, which are usually chicken, but it can also be several types of meat and seafood cut into bite sized pieces as well. So after grilling for about 10 to 15 minutes, these are the yakitori choices that we have. We also ordered the Abruzzo skewers, our meat choices, and our seafood choices as well. So these are the pork belly, lamb chops, and chicken. Well, this is the small arm octopus, scallops, tofu nugget, and some scallop balls. But it took a little more time to cook the lamb chops and the pork belly. The pork belly took a little longer to cook because they keep on turning it from side to side to prevent it from burning because of the large amount of fat and oils on this pork belly. But after about 10 minutes, they were grilled perfectly. And you can see those charcoal grill marks that I really like. The first bite was delicious. You can taste that smoky charred grilled pork fat. The grilled scallops were a little bit dry, but they still have that sweet, slightly salty, briny flavor of the scallops. And you can taste that grilled smoky flavor of the scallops as well. The scallop balls are on the right, topped with dried tuna flakes and dried chives. They have less flavor compared to the actual grilled scallops and kind of taste like fish balls. Next, the Abruzzo lamb skewers. One of my favorite pieces are the lamb skewers. But surprisingly, this chicken and lamb skewers are more salty compared to when I had them in Smorgasburg in New Jersey. But other than that, I'm not really complaining because they still retain the same flavor and still retain the same juicy meat for the chicken and especially for the lamb. Chicken yakitori, its namesake, tender, juicy, and delicious. And despite being a lean cut, it still retains its flavor with that charred, smoky, grilled chicken flavor. Tofu nugget, well, it tasted like tofu. The one that added the flavor here are the vegetables inside and the sweet and savory teriyaki sauce. Please comment down below if I got this correctly as a chalupa. This consists of cornmeal or masa, baked, fried, or cooked in a griddle. And filled with various ingredients such as shredded chicken, pork, chopped onions, chipotle pepper, red salsa, and or green salsa. And mixed with white cheese. This one in particular has shredded pork, white cheese, red peppers, and green peppers. With white and green sauce on the side. The taste reminds me of a taco combined with a shawarma, with stringy cheese inside. And the cornmeal has more volume compared to a taco wrapper. Next, we're going to eat at Lechon Bay where we're gonna have some sisig and fried okoi. Sisig consists of grilled or fried pork chopped into fine pieces, mixed with red onions, scallions, green chilies, red chilies, vinegar, and sometimes with soy sauce. Served in a sizzling plate. 
But here, the sisig is prepared over a bed of rice. The sisig was delicious. You can taste that grilled pork flavor and it doesn't even need soy sauce as a seasoning. The onions and the vinegar give that contrast and tart to the savory pork fat and the savory pork flavor. Hokkoi are crispy deep fried fritters made with glutinous rice batter, sometimes small shrimp and various vegetables which can include squash, sweet potato, cassava, mung bean sprouts, scallions, carrots, onions, and green papaya. The rice flour batter coating the vegetables were crispy on the outside and the vegetables were soft savory on the inside. The vinegar is the primary dipping sauce which provides the contrast and the sour taste to the savory okor. Thank you for watching this video and I really do hope that you enjoy it and thank you for your continued support and as always, like, comment and subscribe. See you later in the next video guys. Take care.